Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today's video, I am going to be doing a horse review of the North Swedish horse. So, um, basically, Annie's in the background and... Oh, I'm here as well. Yeah, so after I've done the review, she will be giving you some tips of whatever. Uh, basically, I have the North Swedish horse here and I have... Um, chopped his tail off, so I paid for that. If you want to get it, it's 19 star coins, by the way. Yeah, it's definitely. One top tip. And so, I just want to say, this is a very nice horse. As if you get up close, you can see all the really good fur details. And I love it how it's a palomino, but it has dapples, and also the blaze down the face it's not straight like an animated one it's it's not it's just realistic really so it yeah, just most horses on this game like the Hanoverian, danish warm blood all of them all their blazes are completely straight you everyone knows horses in real life cannot have straight blazes yeah carry um, on <laughs> then on the hooves, if you just see right here, one of the hooves have black lines on it. I particularly don't like that, but I think it just gives a real, a realistic little thing for the North Swedish horse. And I really like the animations, how it sniffs the floor and you can see the nose actually going up and down when it sniffs more than just seeing it. <laughs> just look at the floor. Um, so let's see the walk. Why am I laughing? Basically, oh this God. is the walk. It's quite bouncy, which I don't really like. But I I'm think... Gonna, oh, can I just add something? <laughs> you know how I always say horses on this game have an emotion. They have an expression. They have their own feelings. The North Swedish horse's characteristic is cheap monkey. Like the Carry on. And as well as that, I don't really like how the walk is too bouncy. I mean, I would like it bouncy, but I just think they've overdone the bounciness with the walk. Like, only beginners in real life walk like that on ponies. Yeah. And I... Because if, if you were walking on a real horse, it would you would be going back and forth. But on this, you're going up and down. And I just don't really think that's realistic enough for this game. And also, I really like the little pink on its nose. It's so cute. Right. Yeah. Um, one little thing. Why did you put the saddle on? No. Um, hey. So... Then we have the trot. In the trot, I really like it. But each time you look at the front legs, you are not on the right diagonal, which is, I hate that in the game. And thighs way more than you would on, like, any other horse. You would be going on the right diagonal in real life. And I thought they know everything about horses. But the yeah, only small the things they think no one looks at, they don't do it. But some people actually do look at it. Like, I can see it's on the wrong diagonal. If I'm just schooling on Star Sable, because I do that sometimes because I'm working, I always look at diagonals and everything, and half the time they're not right. And they don't do fly changes or anything. Yeah, and I really think they should add flying changes into the game. I wish they had a dressage. This is how just becoming Star Sable ideas. So, that will be in one of our other videos. Spoiler alert. But... By the way, so, I think once... One rose... I'll just let Rose trot and cant around. I'm just going to give you some information on the worst Star Stable player in the world. No, that's... That video's uploaded. <laughs> As you probably know. But... Nadia Dragon Cage... Yes, Nadia Dragon Gage is the most annoying rock ninja in the world. She's not even worthy of being called a rock ninja. She's more of just a carrot stick without a brain in the bin. 
Okay, let me just say about the Kanto. So in the Kanto, I really like it how they go on the right leg, lead leg, and also I like how the tail just flops a little bit. I like how the mane swishes as the forelock does too. Also, I don't really like how the reins go in the horse's neck, which I think they should add that they sh that the reins don't go in there because it's just really annoying if you're doing RPs or something or movies for YouTube and then you just see the reins go in the neck like it's so awkward. Can I just say, I did bring something like Connie review started off saying that if you watch this and you're watching this and you put the hands down a bit more your hands don't flip and go in the air like bird rings. Yeah, and also I don't like that they're not holding the, the reins right. Yeah. But you have to have, so you have to have your thumbs on, get your butt out of my camera. Check <laughs> that booty. Yeah, that's what I mean. Anyways, so I don't how they like... So you have your thumbs on top, you have three fingers on the reins, and then the the, the pinkies like around it, basically. Can I just say what me and Rose look like? Characters from Beefy and the Flower Tots. What the hell? Anyways, next is the gallop. Um... So this gallop, I think it's really nice. I like how the mane swishes more as it's going faster. But I don't like that. I don't like how the back legs go really low as if like it's trying to sit down or do a trick or something. Or it's trying to go for a little roll while you're riding it. Like the back leg legs just bend down so much. It's so annoying. Then we have the full stretched out gallop, which I personally like, um, but I don't really like how the main switches. It's basically, just the Connemara gallop, just. Uh, and I like how the legs are spread out. So yeah. Anyway, that's basically it for North Korea Shores. Back to Nadia Dragon Cage. If you are friends with Nadia Dragon Cage, if you talk to Nadia Dragon Cage. Delete her and change your password now. Thank you for your help. If you need any more help with Nadia Dragon Cage, add Ali Zebra Nest on Skype. Thank you for listening. Bye. Bye.